Okay, so let's take a look at how you can set up your base row database and table. So first thing you do is go to base row dot io and here you can register for a new account alternative option are to install it on your own system okay so once you add your email name password you can simply hit sign up and once you do that you will find your dashboard that looks something like this okay this becomes the default and here you get the option to change or rename this group inside each group would be the first database which is going to be your names company where they add customers and projects table so if you click on one of the tables it should show you data like this here you can see name last name notes and you can keep on adding the columns by clicking on plus icon simply add the column name and choose the type of column like phone number single select file email URL date number then link to table so that from one to another table can be linked okay similarly there is also projects table over here here you can see right so these two comes by default in base row so if you want to create a new database you can simply click on this create new and choose from template or choose directly database so we'll go with both options but first let's go with create new database option so database let's name this some database name Okay, so I created one database by choosing create new. I can also create from template. So when I choose from template, I get the option from available set of template like project tracker, as you can see here, project management. Okay, and then you have startup. You can click on this pitch planner. Right. Similarly, you have business templates too, like CRM. Applicate tracker. Right. So like this, you can also keep track of the employees that you hire. Similarly, there is hobby tracker too, book catalog. Right. Also event tracker and you have respective tables for the same. Right. So if you go with something like project management, you can add project tracker from the table. Okay. So this particular table is for projects, then tasks, clients, members. So to add all of these, we have to select this template for our new database. You can rename this and we don't have to keep the defaults. Right. So here you can see you have managed to set up your own database and respective tables from template. We also created a blank database. Okay, as you can see, this is the blank database. We don't know if it contains table or not, but to check that, we simply hover over that particular database and below that, you will see if it has tables or not. Okay, so let's say if I hover over this or click on this, it should show me multiple databases, right? So you get the idea how to create new account with base row then create the database and then add the database from template and also we will see how to create tables and how to add your data so to add table what you will do is we will select the database then create table here we have to name the table let's see i name it as users so we will choose 
start with new table you can also import csv data or paste some table data from some other application or import a xml file or import json file so we'll start with new table which is going to be blank and we have to add okay here you see name i'm going to simply delete this right and what i'll do is i will simply add phone and make a choice i will choose phone number create so that will be added here i can move it to next to our name right and here we can add name and phone number so we will add users database and build it like this currently it only has two rows which you can modify also you can move them up and down and the order will be shuffled accordingly right so what we have done so far is we have created base row account then we created new databases from scratch also created from template similarly we also created table also added columns to it and you can add and remove data on those particular tables so you get the idea how to set up your base row database and how to do that on hosted option